Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can use the courier app of Just Eat. So let's get right into it. If you've been approved as a courier, you do need to use their application on your mobile phone to actually do and complete your orders. So let's get right into how you can do it. Firstly, you'll have to select a delivery zone. This is the area where you typically receive and complete orders while you're on the run. And then you, once you choose it, you cannot change it for that shift as far as I'm aware and you might need to confirm it a day or two earlier so that you always uh, pretty much get what you need a day before you start working. Now, uh, they don't always follow conventional neighborhood boundaries, so check the app to familiarize, familiarize yourself with the zone. Uh, and that is the first thing you need to do. Uh, other than that, you need to make sure that you track your dashboard map and your hotspots. Hotspots are basically where the most orders appear. Uh, and zones appearing in gray have matched the maximum number of couriers needed. Uh, and if you keep your status set to available, they'll notify you when they are seeking more couriers. Uh, and the details of upcoming runs starting in the next three hours will appear on your dashboard from where you will accept or decline your runs. When you're on run, delivery zone boundaries and hotspots also appear on your dashboard app. And that is pretty much that. Uh, other than that, uh, when you're starting a run, you just need to confirm uh, your runs 48 hours before the run starts. Uh, so just confirm that you're doing a run two days in advance and that you're going to be working in the next within the next two days to maximize your delivery time. Make sure your uh, tank on your car or whatever is full. If you're using a bike, even better, you don't need to fill anything up. Uh, then carry your uh, phone, phone charger. If you're in a car, uh, if you're in a bike, make sure to carry a power bank. And uh, just make sure to carry your thermal bags for your orders, and that is pretty much it. To start a run, just open up the app, and don't forget to turn on your GPS and turn off your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're on mobile data ex exclusively. Uh, then to start receiving offers, make sure your location is turned on uh, on your device. For iOS devices, uh, iOS 14 software or later, uh, you need to make sure the precise location is enabled when you're starting your run, and so on and so forth. To get directions, you just need to navigate to the navigation icon in the app, and you can get directions there. You can also choose your preferred navigation app and get direct directions from there if you're an independent co contractor on the network, and you can take your preferred route whenever you'd like. You also have an acceptance rate acceptance rate so uh, your offers will be accepted if you accept an offer and complete it you accept an offer but the order is undeliverable because of the customer and you accept an offer and the customer or restaurant cancels then your acceptance will be uh, intact and you need to make sure uh, that you have as high of an acceptance rate as possible uh, then your uh, acceptance will be lowered if, or offers will be declined if you decline an offer yourself you let the timer run out when a new offer is presented. And then after you accept an offer, you request that Just Eat unmatch the order. So make sure you do that as little as possible. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, for other tips, just find this uh, article on the Just Eat website. And that is all you have to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.